Hi everyone. Um, today we are going to be fixing the steering wheel of uh, this uh, car uh, using Toyota software. I did the alignment on this car twice, but the steering wheel goes back to the same old position. Uh, I found out the way to fix it is to use a Toyota uh, software or there's also a manual way to fix it for which you have to like pin the OBD scanner port. I find that uh, more difficult, which not not very difficult, but I'm not really interested in doing that because, since I already have a Toyota um, software and a cable for it. So let's do it. Uh, if you can see, the steering is not completely centered. It's a little bit on this side. Oh, uh, let's see how it's, how it's gonna be done. So I already printed uh, the Toyota instructions for it, which is right here. Um, we are gonna do it step by step. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so this is the OBD port uh, cable that I bought on uh, AliExpress. Uh, this is the model number. It says Mini VCI J2534. Uh, and you will need a uh, Toyota Tech Stream. Uh, Toyota Tech Stream usually uh, it's not free. Uh, you have to pay a monthly fee for it. But the uh, one that I downloaded off internet, it's a very old one and outdated one, but it's hopefully it's gonna work for me. Then this is, um, I believe, a Microsoft Surface uh, with Windows 10 in it. Um, uh, you can also use a different computer whatever is available you don't have to like spend top dollar on buying expensive laptops and shit like that I'm sorry uh, about my language so uh, just find the one that is like, within your budget now let's uh, fire up this um, tablet here turn it on and then uh, press put your pin in there now um, you have to uh, connect this cable into the USB port of the tablet and then uh, this side uh, into the mini uh, um, uh, I mean uh, into the OBD port of the car so let's do it so here I um, connected that OBD port it's right in here and uh, tablet put the tablet in your lap oh my god drop the keys somewhere oh sorry I gotta get the keys okay so let's go step by step it says um, VGRS system calibration procedure uh, stop the car and face the tire straight ahead so the car is stopped make sure the tires are straight don't worry about the steering because the steering is not straight that's we that's what we're gonna fix and keep the key on the off position and then uh connect the obd port scanner uh this uh, toyota tech screen uh, tech stream to the obd uh, port of the car which they call it um uh, connect the handheld tester to DLC3 turn the ignition to on position so turn the key to the on position right here not to don't crank it just put it in the on position uh, the next step is uh, perform the steering angle adjust procedure from the VGRS menu. So let's go to uh, Toyota Tech Stream right here. Mm, this is Toyota Tech Stream icon right here.
it's asking if it's uh, from Taiwan I just press other it automatically uh, identifies the win number Okay, uh, so now uh, let's go to uh, the VGRS menu right here, which is you guys can see. Uh, sorry, this camera is not focusing. I'm not using my phone today. It's uh, a different camera. So click on that icon. Uh, so we selected the VGRS. Now click on the arrow. then uh, go to uh, data list right here and then uh, select um, Steering angle adjustment uh, option in from these from this menu steering angle adjustment option So we don't see the steering angle adjustment option uh, in data list right here um, go to utility So once you go to utility, you will see steering angle adjust. Click on that. Uh, select uh, when you select something, it's gonna highlight that thing as blue. Then press on the arrow icon. So it says welcome to steering angle adjustment wizard this function is used to center the steering wheel f the vgrs um, actuator has been replaced if the vgrs ecu has been has been replaced steering column or gear has been disconnected the steering wheel is still off center after completing the steering angle sensor initialization so uh, uh, the last pro I have the last problem. I mean, I didn't replace any uh, ECU or uh, uh, nothing was wrong with it. So uh, uh, I'm trying to fix it because the steering wheel is still off center even after performing the um, alignment. So uh, let's do it. Uh, click next. Make sure um, the, uh, the car is uh, parked on a flat level surface. The tires are pointed straight ahead. The, the vehicle is stopped. The engine is not running. The ignition switch is on. on. It's in the on position. The car is on a flat surface. Oh, I'm sorry, this is, uh, this is the, um, the remote control, uh, remote start thing. It uh, is telling me the battery on the car is low. So uh, the, the, that uh, beep has nothing to do with the car. Okay, this is just a remote uh, start um, key fob uh, beeping. <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, next. Uh, our tires are straight. Um, uh, our wheel is uh, not centered, and we are on a level surface. Uh, and the key is on on position. So let's go to next. Press next to uh, disengage steering wheel from the VGRS actuator. 
so once we press next uh, the steering wheel is gonna guess uh, get disengaged from the actuator oh my god turn the steering wheel to uh, center let's uh, it's disengage So uh, turn the steering wheel to center right here I can see the steering wheel is not engaged to the tires anymore so uh, once you get it uh, st straight like this then press next hold the steering uh, wheel center turn the ignition um, switch off wait for three seconds turn the ignition switch on so let's uh, do it uh, i'm gonna have to hold the steering wheel i'm sorry about this uh, this damn thing it's beeping it's not the car okay so so uh, i'm holding the steering wheel center Um, hold the steering wheel center turn the ignition switch off wait for three seconds and turn the ignition ignition switch on Okay, uh, now press next. Okay. No, it says. Um, perform the following operation, then press next. Turn the steering wheel slightly, uh, approximately five degrees to the right and left tires and left uh, until tires move with the wheel steering with the steering wheel and turn the steering to the center so five degrees it's, it's telling me to uh, move the steering wheel five degrees to the left and then five degrees to the right and then to the center and <clears throat> and let's do it so five degrees is going to be around like here and then here and then uh, it's center uh, so let's uh, press next now confirm uh, the vehicle is stopped the engine is not running the ignition switch is on the steering wheel is centered press uh, next to perform VGRS calibration So the VGRS light is blinking on the uh, instrument cluster. Okay, now it says steering angle adjustment adjust is complete. Check that VGRS warning light is off. Yeah, though. So the VGRS warning light is already off. And uh, now let's exit this uh, program. So press exit. And that's it. And I'm uh, then drive your car. Uh, make sure uh, the wheel is uh, centered if it's not centered uh, go do the uh, procedure uh, repeat the pr procedure again and hopefully it will help you guys okay so actually you don't really need to print this paper i just want it to be safe so uh, just follow what what i showed you guys um, connect this um, the tech uh, stream to to your car Put the key in the on position then go to uh, utilities and then uh, press on angle steering angle adjust and then follow the procedure it's very easy uh, i hope this helps you guys uh, thank you very much for watching this and uh, hey see you guys in a different video bye